What's up guys, Tony with iTech Check, and today we're going to be taking a look at a gravity clamping car mount. Uh, this one's made by Zoxkoi. Um, it does clip onto your air vent only, uh, and it does clamp onto your phone as it says gravity, so you just putting the phone down hits this little uh, holder here and it clamps automatically onto your phone and when you pull it up it automatic releases. This one is a air vent mount and it only uh, mounts to your air vent. It can handle up to uh, phones that are 4.7 inches to 6.5 inches and that's a wide range of phones so this should uh, you should have any problems accommodating your phone. I do have uh, a Galaxy S10 Plus with a case on it. I also have an iPhone uh, 10R that we're going to check out and those phones are pretty pretty big. So let's go ahead and see what you get inside the box first. So this looks like your air vent mount. Very simple. Um, it has a little button on here to depress and it clamps down on your air vent. It's pretty stiff so that's pretty good. It should hold on really nice. And there you have your mount. So this comes down, it clamps down on your phone, and it's kind of spring activated. So when you put your phone on here, it's clamped in, and when you release it, uh, or when you pick up your phone rather, it releases your phone. It does have these rubber grips on the insides to help hold on to your phone and keep it from scratching. Take the little plastic cover off here. Open and lock. Very simple. So let's go ahead and mount it in the car and see how well it works. Okay guys, so here we are inside my 2019 Chevy Colorado. Uh, here we have the mount and it's already attached to the air vent and that's what you wanna do. Don't put the clamp on your vent first and try to force the ball into the socket because you're you're gonna end up breaking your air vent. So put the, the holder inside the socket first and then make your adjustments. It's really not that hard and I push, um, I push the button off to the right here and just clip it onto the air vent and it seems to work very well. So I already have mine pre-adjusted. Uh, all you need to do is loosen this up Put this on your air vent and then kind of uh, put your phone in here, see how it lays because it's not going to be uh, strong enough to hold your phone up. Um, it's most likely going to sag down so then you make your adjustment. So I'll put this on the air vent here and you can see how it slides up and down. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is you take your phone. I have my iPhone 10R here. You just put it in here grabs onto the sides and as you can see it's kind of facing down because it's like I said again it's not strong enough to hold the phone up um, and I haven't come across one that is uh, so you just need to make your adjustment here so you take your phone out take this off make your adjustment maybe we'll move this up just a little bit so it's like that, sags down, we'll just pu push it up a little bit and then we'll tighten the little adjuster here, put it back on. And we'll take our iPhone XR, lay it in here. And as you can see, it's perfect now. And it's, I like it more off to the right vent. One, because I don't use that vent. Uh, you wanna maintain your airflow through here. And then it, you can angle it towards the left, towards so it'll uh, be facing you. So everything I need to see perfectly right here. Now the one thing you need to keep in mind is your air vent moves. This is not because of the product, um, but because your air vent. So you know if you make a a tight turn or a quick turn, um, it, it might go off to the side, but um, it holds the phone pretty nice. So you take out your phone here. It releases very easily. Put it back in. And the phone's in there. No buttons to hit, nothing, uh, no batteries to worry about, nothing to plug in. It's just short and sweet and simple. And it's holding on to the vent strong enough to where your phone is not going to fall forward. So I'm pulling it here, it's not coming off. It's tight enough to where you don't have to worry about your phone um, falling forward. 
And another thing that's really nice is the holder on the bottom here has a hole in the middle. It is big enough to take uh, your charger and plug it right in between so you can keep your phone charged as well. Or if you have Android Auto, uh, like my car does, it does <laughs> it connects through the cord, so you kind of need that little space to use that. So that's a nice feature. Now, one thing you can do if your van accommodates it, uh, and you do have the vertical vents like I do, if you end up putting the mount uh, towards the very bottom, it doesn't move back and forth as much. So you just put your phone in here, and then it barely moves at all. So it's always, you don't have to worry about, you know, if you take a turn, it's swinging. Um, it will pretty much stay in the place that you put it, if you put it towards the bottom like I did. So that is it guys, uh, short and sweet. A couple things that I wanted to say about this a little more um, was that the little part back here has a rubber ring around it as well as the holder itself has like a, a rubber insert. So you, when this is against your car and that is against your air vents, you don't have to worry about it uh, getting scratched up. Another thing, this tightener here is one of the best tighteners I've seen on one of these types of holders. It holds really well. I mean, this thing is not this thing is not moving at all. You can tighten it down really well, and that is a huge deal because, you know, the last thing you want is this thing in your car and it, you know, you come in and it's sagging. So this tightener definitely a plus. Uh, on this particular car mount. And like I said, this is the first time I've seen this type of fastener on one of these. Uh, so it sets it apart from the rest. Uh, like I said, very simple to use. Um, <laughs> not much to it. It just, it does what it needs to do and, and that's it. So if you guys are looking for a simple uh, air vent car mount holder, you might want to check this out. So I will be putting a link in the description below in case you guys want to check it out yourself. And uh, if you like me and want to support my channel, please use that link to buy this and other things on Amazon because it helps me keep making videos for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.